everyone. My mother-in-law painted with me on Thanksgiving. She wanted to do a jellyfish and it turned out very pretty. So I'm going to use up her leftover paints and try out my own. She used white for her base coat and then she picked out phthalo blue, um, two shades of metallic blue. One is kind of like a mid-tone, one is a lighter turquoise and then a seafoam green, which is also metallic. And then she wanted a kind of light lilac color in there. I mixed up this purple for her and I was actually really surprised. I wasn't expecting the purple to go well with the rest of the colors, but it really did. So I'm excited to try that out. And I'm working on a 10 by 20 inch canvas. So I'll have a nice area for um, the jellyfish to go down. And then to pour the paint on the canvas, we use pipettes, or she used pipettes. Um, and so I'm going to do the same so that I have quite a bit of control on where I'm putting my paint down. And then I will be using straws to blow it out. And then also uh, my chains that I have for a chain pull for the tentacles at the bottom. And I really like these colors, so I don't want to waste them or have it just turn out blah. But I have each of my colors mixed with Sargent Art Gloss Medium and water. Uh, the only color that I mixed up more of was white because we used up um, all the white in, or most of the white in her painting for the base. So I just mixed up a little bit more white and then I just have the other colors that she was using so that I can use them up. And I'm just using my sponge brush to get a nice smooth coat down. You don't really need a really thick base coat for this, but it does help to have a base coat so that um, when you're blowing the head of the jellyfish into the shape that you want, um, having the base coat helps that paint move better. Once I get this all poured, I am gonna tilt a little bit. Sometimes the sponge brush leaves some lines and I really don't want those lines too much in there. All right, so I've got a really nice smooth base coat now. So now I'm just going to use my little droppers here and get some of each of my paints. And these work really well, especially if you want like really specific colors in specific areas. And I think what I'm gonna do is do it this way and then blow out this way so it's a little bit easier for me. So I'm kind of backwards, so I may kind of move around the table to see my shape. I'm gonna just go in a nice U shape. And you can see you just have, you have a lot of control on where you put the paint and also how much paint you put down. Then just pouring right from a cup. As you start blowing your colors out, um, if you don't have enough of one color, you can definitely add more. But I found that starting out with less paint for a technique like this works a little bit better because it's kind of hard to remove the paint if you add too much. And I'm just gonna do the purple on the edges. Just a little bit more. Okay. So I'm gonna start blowing. I just have my straw and I'm just gonna start blowing down. just a little bit more of the blue here where the white kind of started running into the jellyfish. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave that. So once I do my string pull, I'm gonna touch up this area a little bit because those strings will kind of run into my paint. Um, but I do like the way it looks and I really like all that dark blue and then just those really small spots of purple in there um, look really nice. So I'm going to get my larger chain and I'm just going to dip it in some of my colors 
can just scooch this over here so I'm not reaching over. And you can reuse your chains too. These are the ones that she used. I just rinsed them right off and they're good to go again for um, just reusing them for painting. It's really easy when the paint is still wet to just rinse them right off. So I just put it down in a slight S shape and then just start pulling. That's really pretty. Just grab my paper towel and kind of wipe this off a little bit so I get that white off of there. And then do another one. I'm gonna do a slightly shorter one and then I'm gonna use my small chain for just a few more. Yeah, I really like that. That thal This phthalo blue is just gorgeous. I'm loving this. So I'm probably gonna be using it in some Dutch pours or maybe an airbrushed pour, but I really like the way that that one is looking right now. So I have my small chain and what color did she do? She did the turquoise. I think I'm gonna just copy hers and do the same. The turquoise is also a very pretty color. So she and I will have matching paintings. And I'm just gonna do overlap just a little bit. And I'm gonna do a longer one, and I think I'm gonna go the other way with my S shape. And I might actually leave it like that. I really don't want it to get too busy. And I really like my areas that I have right now. So I'm gonna leave this, but I'm gonna just take my straw again and just gently blow right through these areas to kind of smooth those out from where my chain hit um, right at the end there. All right, so I'm gonna leave this and let it dry and we'll see how it looks. But I think all these metallic colors look really, really nice when they're dry. Um, I think having just a little bit of that purple in there is really pretty along with some of that seafoam green against the blues. But this was a really awesome color palette, so I'm glad there was some leftover paint so that I could try it out too. And I had a really great time, and she did too, so it was really fun to paint with someone else. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is one, the jellyfish is just really interesting to do, especially since you get a couple of different techniques in there. But if there are different colors that you want to see this in again, let me know down in the comments below. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.